Okay. Okay, just getting in position. Uh, last time, we completed... Uh, that palace on... The so-called island that I didn't realize was an island. And this time... We're gonna go and finish that other palace that we went midway through. Uh, with the false wall that we got the flute from. And hopefully we can complete it. Hopefully we don't need anything else. But who knows? Who knows with this game? Uh... What the hell was that? You can just play the flute whenever? What does that get you? Huh. <laughs> in the, uh... In Zelda 1, when you played the flute, you could, like, warp to different places. Warp to the different dungeons. Uh, but apparently it doesn't do that here. I don't think so. Anyway. Yeah, nothing. I guess it's just if you, if you want to be a little festive. You can play your fruit, flute. Okay. So, here we are. Full life, full health. We did- I mean, full life, full magic. And we didn't lose anything on our way here. So we didn't have to stop by any of those healing ladies. We're pretty good. We're pretty, 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 pretty good. Now. We have not found the boss room yet. Uh, so we have to do that, and what I was- oh my god. What I was guessing was that it had- it was on the other side of that one false wall that we went to to get to the flute. But we've searched that, like, a whole bunch. And oh. Usually I do that so smooth. But, you know, you mess up that first step, the timing goes off. Hey! Ah. Almost completely smooth. You know what they say, almost, it's good enough. It's always good enough. <laughs> anyway. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This way leads outside, I think. I'm really just not entirely sure. Where is we need to go? In order to... Meet this boss. Um... this boss is another wizard, I'm prepared. I've got my reflect spell. Uh, probably not another wizard. They probably wouldn't repeat that a second time in a row. Um, could it be an eyeball? Uh, that would be... <laughs> that would be chaos for me. Because... Uh, man, am I not good at fighting those eyeballs. Could be something that requires me to use my fire spell, which I am required to use for some enemies, but the thing is, it's like, I skip over enemies in any way. Ah uh, yes, I remember. Um, so I haven't really just had to use that. Like, you know, <laughs> I haven't. Okay, so, no false wall here. The walls are real. I assume at least. Let me kill this guy. Oh, jeez. As...
I was thinking, hey, I can, uh, I can kill him, and then I can search that wall a little bit more thoroughly, because, oh my god. I was thinking I could search that a little bit more thoroughly, and end up maybe finding that there is a false wall, but, you know, we'll never know. I'm not going back there. <laughs> I'm not going back there until it's, we've uh, explored everything else. Is this... Is this theme unique to Zelda 2? Or is it not? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to rack my brain across the different Zeldas if this is like... Uniquely a Zelda 2 theme, or if this is like... Because it's not the Hyrule Field theme that we hear in, um... Ocarina of Time, right? It's something else. Here we did get uh, taken in by some bugs, but... but that's okay, we can... Uh... What? <laughs> I didn't know that at any time you could just go to that menu and decide, hey, I want to start back at the uh, palace. Uh, but apparently you can. You know, I was going to see the old lady for healing, but uh, hey, this is good too. It's not that far away. And we weren't really doing anything, like, yet. We weren't really in the midst of the palace yet. Oh, yeah. oh geez. Okay, well, we're gonna need to see that lady anyway. Ooh. <clears throat> you know me, I just press the buttons all wrong all the time. Alright. Alright. Now we're ready. We're ready for that palace. Look at how big our magic is now. It's insane. Ah. <clears throat> I can only hope they don't force us to find hard containers. <laughs> because I will be looking those up. I will be looking those up if they do force me. Here we are, in this big old lime, you know, just, just like a lime, it's got, oof. It's got, uh, those little, those little buds, those little grainy things. Just like, look at the bricks, they have those little dots. Limes have like a little bumpy skin like that too, and they and they can be quite dark like this, a quite dark green. And just like a lime, wow, it's bitter inside here. Side note is that you know. I hate limes. <laughs> I hate limes. And, you know, I've said this to people before. And then I think, I don't really love lemons, but I'm not, I don't hate them like I hate limes. And some people, I think they've been tricked by all these lemon lime beverages. And they think that lemons and limes taste the same. That's how, um, I would maybe naively think of limes like before I ever had like anything with lime in it because it's like hey it looks just like 
a green lemon. But no, they taste very different. A lime is much more bitter. And it's not, it's not something I really love. Which, hey. Which is very sacrosanct to some people because limes are an important uh, part of like a lot of different cuisines. And hey man, I just, I just can't. I, I just can't vibe with that. You just have to you have to realize and understand that I just can't vibe with what you were giving me. Where are we going? But, oh, this is a locked door. We don't have a key. Okay. Go all the way to... Okay. Mental note to myself, go all the way to the left, kind of, to the second set of stairs. And who knows what we'll find. I think I've been here before. It doesn't help us to go there. Okay, so we know where the next locked door is. The only question is, where's the next key for that locked door? I think... Yeah, I've been here, and I've lamented that there's only a pee bag. Okay. And there's no other side to that. Pretty sure I've been to that down downward spot. I'm pretty sure I've been to that left down spot and it didn't really help me. But I can I can try exploring there. can try it. Okay, so... I just remember us possibly being here last stream, and then it didn't have anything for us. Not really. Let me try jumping. So, oh, wait, wait. No, there is a key. There's a key here. Okay. My memory of this being useless is wrong. This is very much useful. Okay. And then we know where to get that lo next locked door. Wow, okay. Okay, you know... These palaces... We forget sometimes. People live here. Ah. Uh, <laughs> that's what a palace essentially is. It's a home. And... <laughs> Ooh, man, they should fire whoever their architect was, because this is not... I really do not think this is, uh... The best layout for your house. Yes, 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 yes. I got bats. Ooh, can I get past this guy? Oof. Um, okay. Oh, boss. What's up with this guy? Fire. No. It does push him back a little bit.
<laughs> I'm gonna take this opportunity to take a little sip of uh, soda. Wow, uh, I love this. I love this. I love being able to take a little break in the boss. Ah, having the Dr. Pepper today. I'm guessing why the downward thrust doesn't work on him is because he's got like kind of like a spiky helmet and I think that really repels the sword. But you know, the helmet doesn't go to his face, so maybe if we just do, you know, a regular horizontal slash at his face, it'll cause some damage. Let me see. Well, didn't cause any damage, but hey. We at least know that doesn't work. What? Already? Oh, this guy hits hard. Oh no. That guy hits real hard. Okay. There's not a lot of room for experimentation there. Hmm. Oh, I, I assume we can't reflect. Because reflecting is for magic. That is like... That is like a... a ball on a chain. That's not exactly magic. I don't think we can reflect magic that... reflect that like magic. Uh... What's that guy? Am I missing... See, I can only take about like two-ish hits from him from that spiky ball and otherwise it's not uh, and then I'll be dead but see the thing is because he hits so hard <clears throat> hard it makes it hard to really experiment with what it is that does hurt him and Here I'm wondering... What do I have... What do I have that could help me? Do I need another spell? Because... Because we got... Okay, so from here we got fire. From the village north, we got reflect. We used reflect on that palace. I believe this is the palace that we're supposed to do after that palace in the north. So... Maybe there's another spell after reflect that we're supposed to use on that boss. Uh... And if that's the case, then I would assume that we would need to go south and hit another town? Which... Mm, but to go south, we would have had to get the... We would have had to get the flute to move the river devil. And the flute comes from the palace that we're attempting now. So, I don't think it's necessarily the case that we need to go get something else. 
I am not entirely sure. Well, what what's on this beach? If we keep going, what's what's at the end of this beach? Oh, nothing really. It's just like, it's just kind of, What's this? Pea bag. Oh, that's just for a pea bag? That's it? Uh... Where is that path over? Oh, I need to go a bit further down. Okay, here we go. Now... Is there anywhere we else we can go? Why is this guy not giving me anything? Okay, whatever. Whether we're, we're fine, we're fine. Hmm. Hmm. It's not that long of a road to get <laughs> to get to the boss, which is a which is a good thing. Um. Hmm. Fairy wouldn't really be doing anything. Um, maybe we do have to use fire. Maybe I'm just not hitting the right part of him with fire. Because, remember. Remember those famous words. When in doubt, use fire. We're kind of in doubt right now. We've been hitting his belly. Maybe we have to actually aim and hit his uh, head or something like that. Maybe that's the case because uh, it is like maybe north of here where they start introducing enemies that you can only kill a fire. And we haven't had a boss like that. So maybe this will be the opportunity to just be that boss. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the case, because fire, you know, it gives us range, it makes us a little bit safe. And so, it gives us some safety from that really hard-hitting uh, ball maneuver he has. And you know I love it easy. You know I do not love a challenge. Because I'm not equipped to handle challenges. I'm equipped to... <laughs> handle... Um... Easiness. I, th I, I didn't know a smooth way to phrase that. That would have been clever. Uh... Here, okay. But here we don't have enough magic to even cast fire, I don't think. So... This... This, uh, current iteration of our life may not be the one to really take us there. But we've got two other lives, uh, other than this one. This current one, so... Oh! We did hurt his, uh, head. Didn't we? That- that hurt him? I think so? That looked like it hurt him. 
but also... Okay, so fire's not helping us, not really. Huh, so that didn't help. Not really. Uh... Let's try shielding. Maybe we have to be like really good at dodging. Um, I'm not really good at dodging. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, 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 Those are our three runs for today. Those are our three runs for today. Uh, we got to the boss room. We know kind of what to expect. So, hey, knowing's half the battle, half the battle's over. That means, hey, we're basically ra round up half. That goes to one. That means, hey, we've won already. We've already beat that guy. Okay, now let me transition over to... Um... Banjo and Kazooie. Okay. Let me... Let me open up my N64. Let me see how this is. Let me set everything up. I didn't set everything up beforehand. I'm sorry. Truly, I'm sorry, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, okay. Let's unmute this. <laughs> Let's see. We could stand to make this bigger. I'm, I'm just like adjusting, trying to see what's a good size. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now let me switch over the actual info to display that I am playing Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. I have no- I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I haven't really seen much of Banjo-Kazooie. I'm a familiar with what the character looks like and stuff. And all that, but... I don't really know much about Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, It's by Rare, I discovered. I didn't know who did it. I... I didn't think that it was Rare. I thought it was like, maybe... Some other company. Um... I didn't know it was like, the Donkey Kong company. So maybe this will be kind of like Donkey Kong. I don't know. Um... 
but yeah, let's let's just see. Going into this completely blind, like as blind as I can, uh, except for you know, just as I've said, I already know like some of these characters how they look and stuff like that. Okay, press A to play the game or Z to erase it. Time to get up. Uh, I think. So I guess Banjo, he's a bear. And Kazooie, he's the little bird inside. Uh, she? She? She's the little bird inside his backpack. And they work together to do some platforming. It's like us holding Medley in um, Wind Waker. How she flies us and stuff and does things. Ding pot, ding pot by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. Cough. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie, she's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. Okay, they're done with Ryman. She kind of looks like a Dixie Kong. And uh... <laughs> huh? Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? Uh, hey, swag, Derek. <laughs> When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Wow! Thanks for following, Swag... Swag Derek. Uh, wake up, I want to go on an adventure too. Okay, so... I guess this guy's gonna be like, looking for his sister, just like in the beginning of Wind Waker. If 2D thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks. And ugly she'll be. I didn't know that this was, like, an adventure to rescue her someone. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Okay, is that a condition that she has to rhyme everything? Let me go, you ugly old witch. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's gotta... somebody, help! Banjo, wake up, now! Yawn, what do you want, Kazooie? Wow. Let's get outside, there's trouble. I love his, like, little... It reminds me of, like, a... Uh, I know this came out, like, way before Undertale, but it does remind me of Sans from Undertale. The way that uh, Banjo's dialogue goes, like, <laughs> as he talks. <laughs> okay, well, he's a little bit slippery. Like, look. Whoa. He can... There's, like, a little bit of drift to him. Ah, uh, let's see. <laughs> I know. The truth is, I, I'm actually Banjo's voice actor. <laughs> see. Yeah. I can afford to stream all day, cause uh... I'm, I'm still taking royalties from this game. Woo! 
Whoa, okay, so... I thought that was a pile of leaves, but I guess it's just dirt. <laughs> You're a manager. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was that all? What is all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you will probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. Okay, so I'm gonna have to like pay attention because like this auto moves. Like the the dialogue automatically presses on. Press okay, I'll press A. I'll press A. We'd like some help, bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. Okay, so Kazooie has more... The mole kind of does talk like a flute. Uh, so... <laughs> so Kazooie has more attitude than I thought. I thought Kazooie was going to be like the more polite one of the two, the Banjo and Kazooie duo, but apparently not. Let me try calling him. Er, uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera control. Oh, I know how to control the camera. They're on the yellow C buttons. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Worm Breath? No, hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. Yeah, I guess the mole. <laughs> oh, man. But they just met, right? They kind of had like a fir bad first impression of each other, but they just met. I don't... Like, this seems like way too... Way too animistic. You had this game in middle school? Oh, I have never had this game. I've never known anyone that had this game. Uh, you know, I've seen people on the internet that love this game, but like... Personally, I've never met anyone, like, in real life that knows and has this game. What is this? These rocks. What is it? Okay. Uh, I am, like, a little bit younger, but I, I'm still kind of part of the same generation. Uh... Okay, hold Z, then press B for a powerful beaky barge. Oh, you're from New Jersey! <laughs> See, Banjo, she is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, blah blah blah. <laughs> The text really does go kind of fast. It doesn't go like crazy fast, but like if you're not paying attention, it can sneak up on you. Hey, here, here, oh, hey, here we go. Here's one. There's a honeycomb. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. So, okay, so I guess that's like, uh, that's like heart pieces. Okay, I, I got like some handle on this. Yeah, it is like heart piece. Hey Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, root muncher. Not yet, Banjo. Jump onto a tree, then use the control stick. 
You climb up or down. Root muncher, is that like... Is that like the... <laughs> You'll find plenty of things to climb, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There is a very similar, um... Insult. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Can I jump over there? <laughs> no, I cannot. Well, maybe I could if I knew how to, like, bring out my bird. No, we'll, we'll f I'm using a PS4 controller. <laughs> Let me ask. You have to hit B while in the air still. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans. Specky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To jump underwater... Press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. Oh, it's like a second fairy jump. Okay. I don't know what keys are. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't go to all the molehills yet. I don't think so. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs. And the winged wonder can press B to use her wings. Winged wonder? That's a... That's a compliment, not an insult name. So maybe they're... They're, they're patching up. They're healing things. Their relationship's getting better. Oh, this is the swimming one. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll get a jump move when we talk to this mole. Hmm. Your jump could do with some help. Ha, huh. what do you moles know about jumping? More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air. Or double jump. Alright. That kind of reminds me of like the... That's it. Now you're at blah blah blah. Not until you learn this one first. You must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold Z. Then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Hold Z. Then press A. Oh wow. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Do I get anything for... Oh. Alright! Alright. Okay. You can go into first person mode like that. I think that's all of them, maybe? Okay, let's... 
<laughs> the nostalgia. <laughs> Yeah, I know. A lot of people really, really love this game. The controls are like... They're kind of like still smooth. Like a little bit. Like... It's not that clunky to play. The comedy... Of course, I'm not the best at platformers, but it does seem like, you know, if you're like used to like, I don't know, like maybe Mario 64 or something, then this should be like kind of a piece of cake to, uh, the B combination. Third jump? I didn't hear anything about a third jump. I, I've got this flip. Maybe I'm not done talking to moles. This is the path that leads back to our house. Yes, that's the house. Maybe in the middle here. R. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'll go up this central hill then. Let's see. Maybe I'll learn that jump here. There's supposed to be a jump where the bird does a peck while jumping. Oh, okay. Wow. Alright. Hey, where are you guys going? We're off to whack the witch and rescue Tootie. You haven't learned all the basics yet. She'll kick your butt. She can try, the old hag. The bridge is broken and I'm not fixing it until you learn all the moves. Come on, Kazooie. Let's go and find the ones we missed. Oh, okay. So we can't go forward until we learn every move. Okay. This one's the rocks. This one's climbing. Is there a map? I don't... No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a map. This is swimming. This is jumping. Oh, there's this area up here. I don't think we went up here. Okay. What's going on? Ah, here we are. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving. Slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, ba Whack him Banjo. 
It's a giant. Okay, so that's like a little punch kind of thing. Wow. Nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Now, try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Oh, it's a giant onion. How come she needs to learn to fly from this guy? Bullseye, one more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. You had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the Rat-a-Tat rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now where's Collywop? <laughs> what are these names? Okay, so I guess that's call Cauliflower. Hmm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another boogie bug bug eyes. Whoa. There we go. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain. And I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, we're almost to another piece of life, health, whatever, energy, they call it. Okay. Now let me... Oh, now there are going to be enemies around. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. She, uh, you need something from the waterfall first. Okay. Yeah, I saw something that was behind the waterfall. Okay. Oh, no. Almost made it. Almost made it. <gasps> okay. This time. Did I get the ring from under the water already? I don't think I did. I didn't use the... I didn't use the attack. I, I just did the double jump. Uh, I should've used the attack. What? Is there a ring under here? Maybe it's over there? Near the spiral mountain thing? Okay, whoa. Let's go, let's... Here's some fish. Good thing those fish aren't aggressive. Where? Hmm. Oh, here we are. Here, here. He can hold his breath underwater a surprisingly long time. What? Uh, yeah, okay. So I have to hold up to go down. Okay, I get it. I get it. Here we go. Whoa. We, we aren't... Okay, come on. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> okay. I should be able to paddle underwater. Instead of long strokes. Oh, is that like the, the A button, I think? Maybe? Uh... 
Okay. I'll try that next time in the water. we go oh it's an extra life look out for me i'm an extra life okay let's try oh i guess okay yeah 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 it is paddling I pressed this before, but I didn't, think, I didn't think it did anything. But I guess it is paddling and it's like moving us forward kind of slowly. Okay. Wow. Okay. And all these, like, big be vegetables with big googly eyes. I wonder if the witch did that. I wonder if she, like, cursed the vegetables to be, you know, sentient beings with thoughts and stuff. <laughs> or if they were just always like this. Okay. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bada Boy. I've fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look for me inside. Good luck. Oh, yeah, you've always wondered about the veggies? I guess maybe they don't have an explanation. An official explanation. Whoa. Wait, why, why would she build a machine that's just too small for her? This contraption, I'm told, will make me young and the old. I guess she didn't build it. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klongo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo, help. I wonder if using the machine. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. I wonder if the machine will help her with her rhyming addiction. I thought maybe everyone rhymed because her and the dingpot rhymed. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Mr. Jig- Oh, Mr. Jiggy like Jigsaw Puzzle, okay. Anyway... Huh. Ha 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 ha. That's good. Which way do I want to go? I'll go this way. Camera's not moving with me. With me pressing R, it's not moving to the front. Okay, there we go. What's this? This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. It can't be far away. Oh. So this looks... This is like kind of controlled by pictures like... Uh, like Mario 64. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. 
<laughs> Great. To fill the mixing piece spaces on the picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Okay. That's it. The power's the picture's complete and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just touch your wit. Okay. When I'm nice and slim once more. Burgers, fries, and chips galore. Aw oh man, I... I feel her on that one. Ah. Uh. I miss, like, my younger selves. Like, a. Uh, I miss being a kid and then having, like, a fast metabolism that I can eat all this junk food and all this fast food and just stay, like, real skinny. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Okay. What are these guys? These are, like, goblins? Yippee! You saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a jiggy. Jinjos? Ah, okay. Yeah, she does. I didn't know that she had all these worlds and stuff inside her house. I'm a note. There are 100 in each world. Collect us to open the note doors. I thought, like, we were trying to get her house. I thought it would have been like we were trying to get in her house. <laughs> Things a bit sleepy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up. Steep slopes. Yeah, I thought it would have been a big world and we were trying to get to her house, but all these worlds, like, are inside her house. And I guess she rules over them. Oh my... Where... Where are we? Where's the... Okay. Oh. There's another Jinjo. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Jinjo. Jinjo. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm a little too bit, too bit jump. I'm a little bit too jump happy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get the hang of it. Yeah, probably. I don't play too many 3D platformers. It was, um... I was thinking about either doing this... Or revisiting uh, Donkey Kong 64 because I've tried to beat Donkey Kong 64 twice but I've never been able to beat it <laughs> and you know I hear this is a lot less involved than Donkey Kong 64 I think people say Donkey Kong 64 has like a lot of backtracking and a lot of things to collect Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with an expansion pack and it, yeah, you need it. Okay. Maybe not. Go away. Leave my honeycombs. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Like, all it wanted was just to keep its honeycombs. And. 
Oh man, maybe we're the bad guy. Gra oh, Grar, this conga's tree hit me with. Wait, huh? don't touch conga's blocks. Okay, yeah. So you want him to hit those blocks with his oranges? Uh, clever bear. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the star area and stand on the exit pad. Okay. I thought we were going to meet Donkey Kong <laughs> with that with that noise. I thought there was going to be a Donkey Kong like cameo. Chimpy hungry, wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Oh, can I roll into? Oh, hey, here we go. Hey, that conga's orange. Put it back. Yum. Oranges are nice. Oh, Chimpy likes Kanga's orange. Chimpy help fat bear and bird. Okay, Banjo's not really fat. He's more fit. He's like more buff. He looks like a hiker. He's not fat. Like, it's not like he has a big old beer belly or anything. Oh, wait. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Where are the eggs? Because we can learn to use this as ammo. Wow, everything talks in this game. Wait, let me talk to this uh, mole first. Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Do moles eat bugs? Hold Z, then press top C to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Birdbrain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Whoa. Hmm. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay, thank you. Was it low? I'm not sure. I think it was full. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Okay. Is this guy wearing a bra? No, no, it's like a tank top, right? Or like a crop top? Or is it a bra? I don't know. for you. <laughs> Your conga good shot. <laughs> Erg, bear beat conga. Me give prize to bear.
<laughs> oh. Hey, I thought he gave up. Why is he still Why is he still shooting those um those oranges at us? Seems everyone in Banjo Kazooie is also Jamaican. Jamaican? I think, um... It's the apes that, um... The apes and the monkeys. For some reason, they speak broken English because they're like, I think they're supposed to be... For so like, normally, in real life, primates are the smart ones. But here, they're just... Okay, let me use the beak attack instead. But here, they're not as smart as a bear and a bird. What is this? Me Mumbo's token. Use for Mumbo magic. Mumbo magic? What's this for? I don't think I've learned a ground pound attack. Yeah, I haven't. Let me... Yeah, I do need some honey. Let me leave out of here. Maybe I can sneak past this guy? I missed one note, but I'll get back to it when I go back down, I think. Whoa! Here we go. Wow, it really just fell apart. One, two, three, four. Oh! I didn't notice until now that they are talking, yeah. One, two, three, four. Like their low weird uh, voices. Here's another one of those beehives. I don't know what they're called. I don't remember. Huh. I guess maybe we're supposed to shoot eggs into this. I call this the Big Buster. Jump into the air, and then press Z to send Kazooie slamming down hard to the floor. Gulp. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. Alright, so that's the ground pound. Whoa. We Juju, Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Are those the eggs? Yeah. Hey, 
another jigsaw piece. That's like half of them, right there. Okay. Oh, here's another mumble token. What is Mumbo's magic? I wonder. Okay, that's the be that's the beginning. That's the exit path. And there's the music note I missed. <laughs> Hey, that bull's not so fast. Not so fast. Okay, now I can ground pound onto that switch. And see what it does. Okay. So is that outside of the world? Like, if we exit the world, it'll be on there? Or is that still inside this world? Huh. Well, let me... Ooh. On the outside, okay. okay. There should be a molehill. Where he'll teach us how to get up slippery places. Yeah, it's up there on the outside. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> that that ant! I thought it was like a Yoshi. I thought it was saying Yoshi. Oh, you're trying to remember? Oh. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Whoa, Banjo. There's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Okay. Hold Z, left on control stick. Oh. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I remember this from, uh... Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> Yippee, you keep collect enough notes to... to break the... Whatever on the first note door. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he does the do that in Smash, yeah. That's where I remember it from, yeah. I wonder hey, here's one here's a yellow one of those guys. Jinjos? I don't know what Jinjos is supposed to get at. I, want, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a play on words or what. Oh, you didn't know it? 
There's something with... He does something like this in Smash. I don't know. Oh, pfft. Ah, I almost got all the notes. Where else do we have? Oh, the note. Oh, here's a big skull. This is probably where we use the mumbo tokens. Is there more? On top? No, no, no. There's nothing more. Is this the note door? What is this? Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Man. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not good enough token... Not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Take a look at sign. Bring more. Man, Kazooie has beef with everyone. Kazooie's like, really just rude to everyone. Be more mumbo tokens, but where are they? Oh, there's like a honeycomb piece, I think. Up there, can I climb this with a kazooie? Oh no, it's too slippery even for Kazooie. <laughs> I guess I have to get up there and then slide down. Okay. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. tokens. Where have I not been? What is a note door? Even. Ah. You must be so strong to be able to like support Banjo's weight so easily. She's a lot bigger than I thought she was. I thought she was like one of those tiny little like... I don't know, parrot type birds. But she's more like an ostrich or something like that. Oh! A door. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. Okay, you don't have to call me ugly. You could've just told me, like, politely to leave. I thought she was a cuckoo bird mixed with something else. Oh. This is, like, slippery. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, let's look around. Huh. I wonder how we're supposed to get up there. It seems like... It seems a bit too slippery even for... Even for Kazooie. Like this? This is so steep. Huh. Can we climb up these vines? Oh, I have to see Mumbo. So maybe I need to get that other Mumbo token. Yes. Our max honeycombs have increased. Okay, so... Maybe there's another hole somewhere that I haven't seen. <laughs> gotta, gotta remember, I can't just jump on them like Mario can. And this is not Mario. Underwater? Oh, did I check? I checked right here. I don't know if I went anywhere else underwater. Yeah, I've been in I've been in this little cave. Let me look. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else in this in this water. What else? Roll, roll past! Okay, I didn't get hurt. It said I needed, uh, five. I have four. Maybe if I kill this ant. Maybe something will- Wait, let me look around here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's something... Check on top. Of Mumbo House. I mean, I can, I can try. Or 
somewhere in the back. Let me see. Hmm. Go inside. Okay, let me see. Go inside, Mumbo. In the back. Now look up. Oh, there are eggs up there and stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so there's a... Eggs, 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 eggs. Okay, so we got a bunch of eggs. What the... Oh, that's okay. Let me see. What if I shoot him? No, apparently not. Okay. Hmm. Can I break these apart or something? If I go... Oh, yes I can! I, I can break these. Ah, Jinjo! We got all the Jinjos! We got another Mr. Jiggy! Getting jiggy with it! Okay, so... Oh, another extra life! Okay. Another Mr. Jiggy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's crazy that the world gets bigger and bigger in the game as you progress. Oh yeah. This world is pretty small right now, but yeah, I bet it does get bigger. Go by the stones. What are the stones? Formation stones. Oh! Oh, you mean like the little, like, stone edge, stonehenge kind of looking thing. Okay. Let me see if I missed anything in between these guys. Oh, here was one. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. Now I can pay Mumbo. I'm guessing he gives me some kind of special move or something. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see Mighty Mumble Magic. Mm -hmm. 
Mumbo's magic free to change back. If you come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Oh, okay, so they're termites, not ants. Oh man. I wonder if Kazooie got transformed too. Because we still have our little backpack. Yeah, that's what she said. She said one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, okay. <gasps> well, okay. I have to pay attention to the shadows to know where I am landing. Oh, wait. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Huh. You can't fight Transern. Oh, alright. Give me that cool backpack or else. Man, these guys bully their own kind? Wow. Not so different from humans. Oh, another extra life. Let's see... Yeah, I've got everything in this world. I'm ready. Oh, okay. No fall damage. We're fine. As soon as I fell, I was like, oh wait, is there fall damage in this game? Not the honey ring. Oh, by Mumble, Mumble House. know how to get that. Uh. You'd have to re-enter the world again. Okay. The totem will rebuild itself. Oh, I see. <laughs> you have to leave one stone. Oh, okay. But do it after completing the world. But the 100 you just collected counts to best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Well, if I exit the world, it won't let me exit the world as a termite, will it? Hmm. You 
just can't travel too far from the world or you'll change back. Okay. So if you come back, the Jinjos are stay gone. The notes are gone. You got the totems again. Wait, let me... Let me get that honeycomb first. Oh, there we go. We get that honeycomb. Let's turn into a termite again. And head on out. Whoa. <laughs> he moves so fast as a termite. Hey. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Now we can get out. And we can... Yes, get this puzzle piece. Wait. Yeah, I got the honey ring. Mumbo magic get weak. And we'll turn back. Or magic go. Magic all gone. Must go back to bear and bird now. Okay. What else we got? Oh, this is the note door they were talking about. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty, with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Okay, okay. For, for a moment there, I got scared that I'd have to go back into the world and get the notes again because I didn't exit it properly for some reason. But no, I got it. It's fine. That door was easy you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. What are these? Oh, it's like a little fairy. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to... <laughs> Help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you 
three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with her moldy cheese-flavored toothpaste. Okay, so they're not like gameplay tips, they're more like lore. This is like... Ah, oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Here's another painting. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Oh, you never beat this game! Oh, okay. Wow. What's over here? Oh man. I was expecting to be in more of her tower. I was expecting it to be like how we had it before. But now it seems like so big. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Oh, okay. So because this is so big, they put little shortcuts here that we can activate. Okay, here, here we go. I guess there's a mumbo here. Since we just got a mumbo token. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. eggs down here. Oh, and there's a little tunnel here. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, come on. Uh, hope I don't drown before I reach the end. What was that? Was that a little laugh? This is... Here's a stump with a little picture. Click clock wood. Oh, that's her watching it. Us. Okay. What do you got for me? Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath. At witch school. At witch school? They go to witch school? So I guess I can't... I guess I can't fill in this painting. Or this... whatever this is. Right now. Okay. 
Okay. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Ah, she's doing this all for male attention. She just wants a boyfriend. Where's my camera? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Camera, where am I? Okay, here I am. <gasps> Yeah, there is another world accessible to me. Where... Oh, here it is. The thing we just unlocked. Treasure Trove Cove. And also, what's here? They've got all these cannons. I wonder if we can climb in the cannons? Get launched like in Donkey Kong? I guess I'll just go inside this chest. Hmm. Whoa. Ahoy there. This be treasure trove go cove. Thar be two new moves for ye to find. More moves. Oh yeah, we've got this, like, tropical version. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't think there'd be a shark here. Just like in Wind Waker. Well, no. I just want that Jinjo. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, man. I'll come back for that Jinjo. Ah, okay. So now some enemies will take two rolls. This guy looks friendly. No! I thought that guy was friendly. It's a bomb. Entrance to this castle. Uh, what's going on here? Huh. Letters. Okay, 
So I guess we have to do something with these, um... Maybe you ground pound these? Oh, we have to drain it later. Okay. Okay. Maybe we talk to this bucket? I saw some kind of bucket guy. Yeah, right here. Maybe I have to get up through Oh, okay. Oh wait, I can climb up trees. And there's a source of honeycombs. What? That's a giant crab in that shell over there. Oh man. Can I climb up this? We, oui, I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bog eyes. Simple enough even for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. What? Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Okay. Whoa! To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Beaky can't only can only carry 50 of them. Oh. Well, I want that Jinjo. There we go. We got the green Jinjo. And now, I think we can get over to the bucket. Right. Where was the bucket? feathers. Okay. Where was the bucket? The bucket was by the sand castle, but I can't find the sand castle right now. Fly a bit lower. Okay. What's up with this guy? Two 
my left. Right. Well, there's another Jinjo. ship with the hippo. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I did pass it. Okay, here's the ship with the hippo. It's on the right side. Oh, hey, it's a mumbo. Come on. Let's, let's get it together. Let's get it together, Kazooie. Ah, jeez. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Here's a puzzle piece. I'm passing it. Over there on the right, it's a lone patch. Okay, I'll try looking on foot first. Can we break these? No, oh, we can't break them. Maybe we can ground pound on them. Nah. Over to the... Over to the right. Lone patch. Passed it. Passed. <laughs> Look, nice snacks for you. Passed it. Go back. Okay. Go back. Patch. Oh, it's out here. Mm, no. Okay, from here. Go over here? Through the water or no? Mm. Oh, now go back. Okay. Okay. Let me get some health back.
wonder if I can defeat these with my eggs. No, go back. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Right there. Oh, right here. Ah, ah, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yes, yes, yes. I see it now. Okay. I just need to land. I, I know where it is now. Well, okay. Here we go. No, I fell. Ooh, uh. But I know where it is. I know where it is. All I have to do is get back there. Okay. Okay. Come on, Kazooie. It's time. I guess I don't need to fly over here. I can just use those boxes to get up here. Hey Bucket. Me leaky. No good water. No good for water. Can bear block... Wait, what? I guess I have to talk to the mole. So that I get a move. Alright. No, fart egg in his mouth. To block hole. You'll reach shocking heights of my sock jump. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, and then press and hold A. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Nice going. You've learned all the co cove's new moves. Okay. Wait, I think I need to hold it more? Yes! I guess... let's... Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Huh. Yeah, it would have been useful to get that. Uh, get that honeycomb piece. Okay. Now... I guess we can go in here and get that puzzle piece. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Oh, this guy rhymes too. Where's a, where's a J? A J? J? Where can I find? Is that a J? Oh, uh, yes it is. K, K, 
Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. we go. The gate opens to reveal a prize, but first, I'll cut you down to size. Another rhyming guy. Wow. It's so vicious the way that these guys like... It's so vicious the way that these guys just simply fall apart when you kill them. They don't like fall down exactly, they like, all their pieces go missing. I mean, they just go flying from each other. Okay, so. There's one thing. Man, there's so many- there's so many things to look at and collect in these worlds. Help the hippo on the boat. Oh! I thought the hippo was gonna be an enemy. He was crying? Well, hey, you know, I thought... I thought that bomb guy, I thought he was going to be... What is this X? <laughs> Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I thought that bomb guy was going to be a friend, but he was not. Mario 64 are very much alike. You know, I haven't, um, I played a little bit of Mario 64, but I haven't actually beat that one either, I don't think. Maybe I have, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think I have. Is there stuff down there? Uh, yes, there's a puzzle piece. Can I use an egg on him? No, I can't. Yeah, always hidden things in water. Okay. Let me try that. You can wheel them in and fart an egg out. Oh, uh. Okay. Yippee. Oh, no. Shark's back. <laughs> I thought the first world, since it was like so easy going, that 
the rest of the world to be very easy going, but there are dangers lurking everywhere. Oh no! Get from under there. Oh. Okay, okay. I guess he is crying. Ahoy there. I'm Captain Blubber, and I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can you help an old hi sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. Treasure. Oh. Wow. Shit's bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside. Ah. He's got like gold bars down there. Ahoy there, I be Blubber's treasure. Okay, let me swim a little bit up. A bit over. Come on. Come on. Okay. Can I go into one of these things? No. Oh wait, I'm about to drown. <laughs> no. Does he have like a hole or something I can get through? Jump out of the ship. Oh, okay. I have to get on the other side. I thought maybe there'd be a hole in the net that... Aye, that be half of me treasure. <laughs> Go to the side of the boat. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. I see, there's a little, there's a little hole here. Okay. Let's crawl on in. are pretty expensive. They're pretty... It's no small feat to repair a boat. I mean, I think like some of the biggest expenses like super rich people have are like their big ass yachts and stuff like that. Okay. Me treasure. Thank you, me hearties. Take this reward. He is like, <laughs> wow. He really is burping. Or ah, oh, yes, I can. Okay. Whoa, I 
accidentally fell inside. Took his million and left you as the friendly neighborhood hero. Well, he did give me, he did give me that, that puzzle piece, which is what we need. Oh, so, hey, fair trade. For our labor, I think so. Go meet that giant crab. Oh, is that not an enemy? I thought that giant crab was gonna try to get us. Wait, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, but he has something inside. Ah. Oh. around here somewhere. I... I've seen him like a million times. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I see him. Man, he's got these weird googly eyes. Hey! This Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us then, Crustacean Brain. Brr, cheeky bird need feathers clipping. Oh yeah? Just try it, Shellhead. Whoa. Feeble <laughs> eggs no match for Nipper's shell. Armor. Timing is key, okay. Take that, big mouth bird. Okay. He does kind of like stop for a while. Maybe I. Oh, no. Oh, jump peck? Oh, uh, okay. Rawr! You hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. Okay, yeah, okay. I guess we're supposed to hit him in his big googly eyes. People's eyes usually are... People's eyes usually are very weak. And they're just like jello. It's faster each time. Whoa. Yeah, he does get faster. Hey, Enkel. Hey. What's up? Oh. Oh, wait. Eat the. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you've had enough. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 61. I wasn't paying that enough close attention. <laughs> eh, I don't feel like the notes are that hard to get. They're just around everywhere. At least they don't reset, like, your puzzle pieces and stuff. Yeah, and I've still got my mumble tokens. Let me go over to that crab and actually not die this time. Ah. 
Hey, this Nipper's Beach. Well, okay, okay, we, we, we've, we've heard this. <laughs> yeah, I voice acted everyone in this game. If you look at the cast list, it's just me. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, man, he does get fast. Oh, no. Okay, I'm paying attention to my health, though. Uh, ooh. Here we go. Yeah, the key was just to start moving before he actually stops. Yeah. Timing is key. Whoa, this thing is so huge. He's got baby crabs in here? <laughs> yeah, they did get revenge on me. It's ah. Uh... Yeah. I underestimated them because they were small. Ah, ground pounding is like more powerful, I guess. So I'll try that when I get inside. Okay, I'm gonna be a pro at this. I'm gonna do this like a million times. I'm gonna be the world's. I'm gonna be world's fastest, uh, crab slayer. Here we go. The oceans are no match for Banjo and Kazooie. Kazooie really does most of the work. Banjo doesn't do a lot of anything. Yeah, Banjo does do a lot of walking. Wait, he does like a little gulp. Does that mean that Kazooie's out there like eating these puzzle pieces? I thought like maybe uh I thought maybe she just put him in the bag, but I guess like since she's like doing that gulp, it means that Yeah, she really is just like eating him. Hmm. Do I wanna fire the thing is I wanna fire eggs into this? Okay. Um, here's one of those flying pads. 
Yeah. You need to keep your wits. Whoa! <laughs> I was thinking, you need to keep your wits about you. My exposure to... I've watched the first Pirates of the uh, Caribbean movie. But... I think most of my exposure from... To... Uh, oh! Jack Sparrow is actually from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Where... In one of the... Oh man. Yes, he's in Kingdom Hearts. He's in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. Except in Kingdom Hearts 3, you know... Uh, I don't know. There, there's some weird stuff going on. Oh, you're playing Kingdom Hearts yesterday. I played, um... I played almost all the Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, I have, like, the collection. So some of them I haven't played because they didn't, uh, port them to PS4. But all the ones that are on PS4, I played. Yeah, so like three, six, five days, and uh, what's its face? Re Recoded. I didn't play those. I played like a little bit of Recoded, but in general, no, I haven't played. I haven't played the that one. Oh, I haven't used my PS4 in a long time. Wow. <laughs> No, I don't have a PS5. I just don't, uh... I just don't have any games left to play right now. Or... I don't know. On the PS4. Whoa! Like, I mainly used it for Kingdom Hearts, and then I got, uh, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, and then I don't know what else I would play on there. Yeah. Yeah, I was a big fan of it. I don't have the DLC, the one with uh, Yuffie. I don't have that. So I haven't played it. Played that one. Yeah, I think, um... Yeah, I actually beat that game for... You know, I played uh, Final Fantasy VII a bunch of times. Uh, but I had... I, I actually beat it for the first time before I played Final Fantasy VII Remake. So... That, you know, I could have that little comparison. And... 
Uh, I like the remake and I like the original, but like, uh... There are things that the original does better, and the things that the remake does better. Like, you know, obviously the battle system of the... of the remake I like a lot more. It's more action-y. But, uh, there are things like... When you go into the Shinra building, in, uh... In the original, it's like... More scary because of like it's like actual blood trails and stuff like that. And uh, in the Final Fantasy VII remake, that they made it like purple and all that. It wasn't like a. It wasn't really like blood. And I feel like uh, Genova looks scarier too. Yeah. Yeah, I think they were avoiding, like, some kind of, like, higher rating. I got that Jinjo, even though I felt... Oh no, this shark, dude. Oh, damn it. Leave me alone. Yeah, but I'm still excited. I, I, I still liked it. I still am excited for the next uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake game. Um, it's just that, you know, I'm also like a person that likes horror and stuff like that. So, you know, I like it when games get a little bit more scary and stuff like that. <laughs> when I was um when I was little my uncle he used to have Resident Evil 2 and it scared me so much I couldn't watch him play it and like I used to be afraid to go out at night because I think like oh wow you know there are gonna be zombies out there just like Raccoon City I haven't played any of the uh, Resident Evil games myself. I've only like watched people, other people play it. Uh. Yeah, I like, I vividly remember having to go to Walmart at night and I was so scared to be in that parking lot because I was like, oh man, the, the zombies are gonna get me. The zombies of Walmart. <laughs> okay. But now I'm not like... I'm not so afraid of like anything in horror anymore. Because I've, I've watched a lot of it. And now I just find it, you know, kind of cool sometimes. Oh yeah, that scared me the when I was little too. They used to have a warning whenever that came on. They were like, oh, you know, little kids, uh, be like... Be careful about your kids, you know, watching this. So I already got the things I need here. Yeah, the makeup on that was like... So cool. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait, uh, no. Sir. Well, yeah, but you can get kind of desensitized to things. Like, I've gotten desensitized to a lot of horror things. Woo! 
<laughs> Not gonna lie, it kind of scares me too, because I'm like, I can't deal with that shark. I can't deal with you guy. Not right now. Hey, it's an extra life. some health back from all that we lost. <laughs> okay, so... Float longer. Oh, to avoid bashing into the floor. Huh. Float reminds me of Pennywise. Oh yeah, when he like, he's like, oh yes, they float, Georgie. And when you're down here, you float too. Uh, yeah, it scared me so much when I was a kid. I had to, um... <laughs> I had to, uh, my cousins had a dog, and I had to have the dog, uh, in the room with me while I was watching it. Ha, ah, you'll never find me now. Yeah, he can turn you into your deepest fears. You know, when I rewatch the miniseries as an adult, like, it really isn't that scary, but there are still parts that are very, uh, very well done. He's the crab down there. Oh, just leave me a go. Leave, uh, not leave me a go. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. A crab. Oh, I see him. I see him. See him. Yeah, like I love Tim Curry as it. The in the miniseries, the '90s one. Uh, I never watched the Worst Witch series. I watched like the... I watched some of the... Uh, the the remake on Netflix. But I haven't watched the original one. How do I open this thing? Oh, there we go! I was just missing. I was just missing it. Okay. Oh, here's another mumble token. Okay. Where is Mumbo? Oh, Jinjo. 
Hooray, you just passed your best note score <laughs> for this world. Okay. Where is... Yeah, he is still crying. Maybe he... Maybe his gold got reset. Where's Mumbo? Oh, here's some notes. Wait, let me... Whoa. Ah, here's the mumble token. What does the mumble token say? But yeah, I had to have my cousin's dog watch the IT miniseries with me when I was a kid. Because it was too scary. But like, you know, there was also time I was like, Oh, send this dog away. I'm not sure if this dog is IT. And I used to be afraid of like, uh, bathrooms and stuff like that. Because I was like, he's, he, he's gonna be in the pipes. He's in the sewers, you know? Oh, really? I was never really afraid of Freddy. I like the Nightmare on Elm Street movie. I like the movie, but I was never afraid of uh, Freddy. I remember I was like super afraid of like the leprechaun from Leprechaun. <laughs> I used to think he was hiding places in my room or whatever. But if you watch uh the leprechaun movies they're like just just more like comedies really he's like constantly joking and making rhymes he's kind of like the witch in this game he's always making rhymes oh wow i don't know if i have the yeah i don't have the The memorization powers to uh, memorize any movie script. Hello. Okay. Only one more Jinjo. Introduce. Oh, he did the voice. voice go? I know it's like Warwick Davis doing like an Irish accent. He's like... What was it like? I don't know. Where is me gold? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's more like... That's more like a pirate. Um... Have luck. Okay, I've got 27 music notes, five more... Wait, is it five more puzzle pieces or was it like... Six more puzzle pieces? I guess six more puzzle pieces or something to go maybe? I'm not sure. And two more mumble tokens. Maybe? I'm not sure how many mumble tokens there are. Look, nice snacks for 
Okay, whatever. Huh. There are musical notes here, right? I'll, I'll go down here again. <laughs> hey, Matt Stone and Trey Parker, I'm available. I can be in South Park. Okay, there are my music notes. You know, there's this, like, weird, like... I know, I've heard this joke be... Joke or observation before. There's this, like... Oh, you know, every hot girl has, like, a Cartman impression. <gasps> like, every hot girl has, like, a Cartman impression. They're dying to break out. <laughs> Oh, my, my uncle, he has like a Cartman tattoo on his leg. He's had it sin ever since I could remember. I don't know when he got it, but like I, he's always had it like as long as I've been alive, I think. I don't know if he ever got removed or like, you know, or if it's like he tattooed over it, but... I haven't seen it lately, but I remember it. I remember he has it. He had it. Stone Cold. You mean like Stone Cold Steve Austin? Uh, I don't know much about Steve Austin. I don't know much about, about wrestling guys. I don't actually know much about him other than... He has like an ice cream place now. Oh, there's like a whole thing up there. Okay, let me go over and fly. Okay, whoa! Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why do I keep slipping? Just like time, I keep slipping. Okay, come on. Okay. Can... Can Kazooie take me all the way up there? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, she can. Okay. Good. <laughs> Kazooie. Kazooie, calm down. Landing is always kind of hard for me with that. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> I was a big... <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna focus on getting up there first. And then if I want to, I'll go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I won't get the 100 notes, but like... I'll get up there first, and I'll see what's up there. And then, uh, I'll decide then. After I get everything else, if I want to get the notes again. Come on, guy. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to jump. Yes. Yeah, I know I do use them, but I don't know if I need, like, every single one. But also, this is only the second world. These are probably going to be easier. 
than the later worlds to get all the notes. So, I don't know. Are those flying pads? There should be one like somewhere close. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. You know, stay clean. That's something I want everyone to take home from these streams. Shark. I know there's a flight pad up here. Yeah, the shark is really fast compared to Banjo Kazooie. Hey, it's a Jinjo. Hey, guy. Oh, I didn't notice that they actually talk. Like, when they're, like, standing there. Like, there's, like, a little, like... Imagining like Banjo Kazooie as Goofy and Donald. what these do oh okay so in the overworld they spawn puzzle pieces okay that's what they do I guess maybe I need more notes to get in this wait no wait what how do I get in here Maybe I go down here. Oh, this leads back down at this cliff. Okay. How do 
I... How do I get through that door? Do I throw eggs at it? They're giving me so many eggs. Maybe I... I'm not gonna deal with that guy. Okay. Gosh. Azui. I need to go get my... My sister from the witch. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to try that. Anyway. <laughs> Let me see if I can like shoot an egg at that door and maybe the egg opens the door. I don't really know. I mean, I don't have any other moves. I got all the moves from the mole. Let's try open the egg out. Yes, 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 yes. Hey. Come on. What? Oh, there's a there's a shock jump pad here. Okay. So that means I've gotten eight from this world. There are two more puzzle pieces, right? Every world has like ten puzzle pieces. What? You again? Oh. Too slow. Too slow. Little did you know Banjo's the fastest hedgehog around. Let's get some life restored here. Check if there's anything down there. I don't think there is. Okay. Now where are pu where do pu where would puzzle pieces be now? Oh wait, I I do I know one of them. One of the puzzle pieces are from uh, saving all the gym the Jinjos. Let's do that. Let's get the Jinjos. We need to fly anywhere. Where is Mumbo? We've gotten all these tokens, but we haven't found Mumbo. Is he not in every level? Oh, there is that thing over there. I don't know what that is. But there's like a sign. Let me go. Let me look. Let me look. Shark Food Island. Ooh. Oh, here's an extra life.
Already? Shark on my tail already? Oh, jeez. Every single game I can fall, I fall. The original fall guy over here. Oh man. No, what? I didn't know. Th I didn't know those clams could get up here. I thought I was safe on my crates. Long clam. Maybe it'll be easier if I just flew over there. kind of has like I don't know those like big like anime eyes to get now that I've walked all all through this world you know it doesn't feel it's weird it doesn't it feels big but it doesn't feel big at the same time it's like it's more like it feels big but it's like very familiar now I guess I'm just looking for Jinjos. I know there's one near the start area under the Brit, uh, on, underwater. And I've already done this, but like. <laughs> I'm retracing my steps a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, come on. No, I think bears are so cool. Like, I've long talked about my... <laughs> my relative disdain for birds, but I think bears are so cool. I went to the, uh, what is it, the Columbus Zoo once, and there was a bear there that was in its own enclosure, and every time we passed by that bear, it was just taking a big old dump in its, like, little, little pond, river kind of thing. It was like, and it's just like, that's your own like water supply like I'm sure like it gets cleaned and stuff like that but it's like why are you taking a dump in your own water supply bear what's going on welcome back uh, Derek I wonder how these, uh... Yeah, I wonder how Banjo and Kazooie got together. Anyway, and then like, I love like, uh... I love watching videos where like, a bear just like... Wanders into a convenience store, and the convenience owner's like... Get away from here, bear! And then the bear does, doesn't does mind, and it's not attacking the convenience owner. It's just going in there and, like, getting potato chips off the shelves or something. Hey, I got all the gingos. Mmm, lovely. That's right, shark. Whee! The gingos. Wait. Wait. I got all the gingos. And. Uh... Oh! It's down there. I was like, where's my puzzle? Oh, jeez. Right, neat thing is to see a bear knock a door down. Or open car doors, wow. Uh, yeah, I've heard in, uh... I've heard you get bears a lot out in New Jersey. Like, you just see, like, a bear going through your trash can. Pretty, uh, frequently. Not grizzlies. Okay. Black bears. Are black bears less dangerous? I don't know what type of bear. <laughs> I don't know what type of bear Banjo is. I, mean, I don't know if he's like a grizzly bear or whatever. But Banjo's pretty small. I think Banjo's pretty small for a bear. I would guess that Banjo is maybe like five foot, five foot five. I would guess like standing up, he's about five foot five. Yeah, I guess I'm getting those notes anyway. Hmm. 
Might as well get his treasure for him while we're getting notes. <laughs> uh. Grizzly by his coat color. You know, one of my, uh, one of my cats is like a Manx, and that's a cat breed that doesn't have a tail, or they have very short tails. He doesn't have any tail, and so, and they also have like bigger back legs, bigger hind legs, so, he does, my, one of my cats, he does kind of look like a bear himself, because he has no tail and that big, those big haunch, haunches. And he does this kind of like... He used to be careful, but now he just like... Crashes his head into things looking for food. And he does remind me like... Of like videos of bears that I've seen. Like he'll knock like bottles and stuff off my desk. Because he wants to see if I have any crumbs. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, nah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, also... I need to be careful about my health. I need to be careful about my health because I've only got two more honeycombs left. I need to watch it this time. Like, actually, you know, for real, watch my health. Hey. Full health already. Okay. Now I don't need to watch it. Now I can just, like, avert my eyes and let myself get hit for a bunch of times. Yeah. How do I deal with these? How do I deal with these, uh... These guys. These treasure chests. You just jump in and out? Oh, they have things inside them. All right. They are indestructible. Oh, okay. I thought they were enemies that you have to... fight. Okay. Okay, I was like... I'm... I'm shooting all these eggs into them. I, it's not doing anything. Because, you know, like in, uh... You know, like those totems. You put the eggs in them, they explode. I thought it was one of those deals. But, yeah, apparently not. I'm so bad at that one. I'm so bad at those jumps. Oof. No. Maybe I should just fly over there. Maybe that's just easier if I just flew over there. Let me go to my flight pad.
You know, <laughs> there are multiple solutions to anything that you can find in this game. Probably. And this is one of them, just flying on over. Is it a little hard to get those notes? Yes. But, oh, let me just, can I land? Oh my god, it's so hard. This is hard in its own way. Me. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so... What's with this crab that's by itself? Oh wait, this is the treasure crab. No, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think that was the crab that turned into the treasure box. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. Hey, I'm I'm living, I'm learning. Oh. Does it not hurt you if it slams on you? It didn't seem like it hurt me, but I'm not sure. Huh. I've almost got all the notes. Oh man, you're really right there, guy. Okay, so I think I need to go... Wait. Whoa! Two tokens? I can't believe I've been messing these chests the entire time. Oh no. Come on, flap those wings. Flap those wings, Kazooie. Get us out of- Get us away from this shark. Get us away from- Oh no! Zooey, why have you failed me? Let me fight <laughs> Let me fight this crab again. So I can get some notes from inside its shell. Yes, I am. I'm fighting the crab again because I want the notes. I want the notes inside. And, oh, wait. I need to go back. Get some honey. Yeah, there are notes inside there. Why their notes in the first place? Are they like, is there some kind of musical element to this game? <laughs> oh wait, banjo, he does play the banjo, doesn't he? I saw it in like the, uh, before the start screen comes up, he like plays the banjo in that little movie.
And also, his name is Banjo. <laughs> I've almost got all the notes. Where am I missing them? His sister plays the flute. Oh yeah, her name is Tootie. That's what that's what that means. Oh yeah. When I hear toot, I always think, oh, like farting. I don't think uh, I don't think uh Musical bears, yeah. Kind of like the... I don't remember what they're called. But... There was a musical... There was a movie... About a band of like... Musical bears. Or something. And I think it was like a... And I think there were... A, animatronics too in like some restaurants. Those bears? I don't know what... Country bears? Headshot. Okay, so I get I gotta get up to that flight pad and then, then there's a treasure chest I missed that was in that little hole. That's over there. Looking for the last notes. <laughs> no, I think there's a puzzle piece in there. I think that's what has a puzzle piece inside that chest. Yeah. Yeah, it was a jiggy. Ah, oh, man. I gotta get back up there. Wow. <laughs> I'm missing, uh, nine notes. Keep falling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's some notes. I forgot I didn't get the, these, like, since I last died. Okay. Okay, now I'm just missing four. But I need to get into that guy's mouth. I 
can get those that puzzle piece. Go straight along the wall where the bucket was. We think there's a note where the water starts. Okay. There's no song. This back wall. This back wall. It's hard to get because the shark is nearby. Under the boardwalk. Where the stage starts underwater. Nope, I got those, I guess. But what I need to do is get in that treasure chest to get that puzzle piece too. So I'll go back up and then I'll try to fly into that chest. No, the music in this game is not bad. It's got like a whimsical quality to it. And it has like these transitions to it as you're doing different things. There we go. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. Okay, I got all the puzzle pieces. Let me look. I wonder if I'm missing any... I wonder if I'm missing any notes at the very top of the hill. Does it tell you when you have all the mumble tokens? Is it like, hey, you got all the mumble tokens, congratulations. I don't remember it saying that for the last level that we were on, the first level. I don't know how many I have. I have I have 11 in total, but I don't know how many is from this world. I think I probably have all of them from this world. Yeah, I've been all over. I haven't seen Mumbo. Probably not here.
Oh no, no! Okay, I'm gonna give up on uh, the notes. I've got all the I've got all the puzzle pieces. I've got the mumble tokens, whatever. So you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need all the notes. I don't believe we need all the notes. Okay, there's another puzzle piece. Okay. Let's move on forward. Find another world to go into. We're done with that code. I don't think we'll need the four notes that we were missing. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Your feathered buddy that you've brung. Useless like a pile of dung. Listen, Kazooie is like carrying us through this game, like literally and figuratively. Kazooie is doing great. I don't know if I would really ever... I wonder how... How we get the... Those woods going, that painting of the woods. Okay, so that's not what's next. Let's go through one of these doors then. Does this take us to the pirate cove? Yeah, it does. It does take us to the treasure cove. Trove Cove. Um. Hmm. Is there another place that I'm missing? There probably is. I mean, come on now. Uh. Can I climb this? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, let's go through here and see. Okay. Well, there's some blocked off areas we have. I don't think we've been through this tunnel. This is... You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. I think I did create a shortcut just now, because I think both the ones I found are red. Or purple, or whatever this is. Okay. Well, let me try it. Let me get inside you. Oh, no? I guess I haven't activated the one that that one goes to. That's where I came from. But is there another note tour or something? No. So that's... 
Hmm. Oh wait, wait, wait. There's a pad here. Oh yeah, this reminds me so much of uh, Donkey Kong 64. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z. All right. Clanker's Cavern. What awaits us there? I wonder if the cavern part means that there's gonna be like mine carts or something. Should I go in here? Hey Banjo, you're looking glum. It must be hard being so dumb. It is hard being so dumb. But hey, we gotta work with what we have. And Banjo, he has sheer strength. Not here, I guess. The Disney Cauldron movie. The Disney Cauldron movie. You mean the one about King Arthur? Yeah, I don't need the cauldron right now. I'm trying to figure out where that pipe was that we just opened. Maybe it's down here. This leads to like the woods, but maybe the the pipe is in the woods somewhere. Um, we opened the pipe that goes to Clanker's Cavern. But... I don't know where it was. It's underwater. Oh, is that it? Is that going to lead us to where we are? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah, there's Clanker's Cavern. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there's a button over there. It's not as hard? 
Oh, that's <laughs> that's good news for me. <laughs> Let me try my beak pet. And what's this? That leads up to... Huh. I'll get that when I come back out. Just the one new move to find this time. But it's hidden well. Wow. I just... <laughs> I really expected him. I really expected him to rhyme, but like... Uh, I forgot, the mole doesn't rhyme. Whoa! Uh -huh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a... a frog? I don't know. But now, I do expect it, so... I'm ready. Whoa, he comes out real fast. Eel? But it has, like, little arms, doesn't it? Lucky you, I'm in the vulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. Timing is key. Hey, it's a Jinjo. What's up, guy? Jinjo! Whee! Jinjo! Whee! Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's look forward. What's going on over there? That's where we came from. Is there anything over... Hmm, okay. I don't... Whoa. I really did not see where I was going there. Okay, so... Some health down there. Some eggs. There's a hole, like a passage right there, so... This will go down through there. Yeah, this this uh this water is very murky. You you definitely don't want to, you know, I don't know if you want to like swim through this with your eyes open, letting it get all up in there. Seems like a good way to get an infection. Oof. Every world has a character you have to help. Oh, okay. Is it like we're tele? Is it like we're teleporting to different worlds, or is it like these worlds all exist inside of... Bzz, I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water, want fresh air. Okay. So he wants us to raise him up, I guess. Or... Oh no!
Wow, your best note score for this world is now 14. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I drowned. I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom to pee right now. Yeah, 14. It's a it's a high score. Okay, <laughs> back for more expert gameplay. Can I beat my previous uh, note score of 14? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. These guys aren't so hard as long as you 
know the timing, which is just like, once they start bi stop biting, just keep going. Uh, you just hi, one cat in the box. Yes, I did die. I did die, uh, in here. A, B, the holes. Oh. I didn't know you could, uh... Huh. I guess that's fast... I guess that's fast enough to deal with them. Oh, you can kill them before they bite. Oh. Let's try. Oh. Oh, they're surprisingly easy to kill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. If you wait, they have time to come for it to get come out. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna wait, cause I am not. Ooh, uh, I'm not that great at the the timing and everything. Oh, there's one note there. Rolling under works too. Oh, all right. Okay. Yes, I died on this level by, uh, drowning. That's how I died here. <laughs> I- I died going through this pipe. Cause I was trying to get all the notes and stuff. But... I guess we can drain it? Buzz, I am Clanker, which is garbage grinder. Clanker not like dirty water, want fresh air. I'm guessing we can, uh, we can drain this. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Okay, forgot about that guy. Forgot that anytime you see one of those holes, it means one of those guys. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh. There's an extra life and a jump. Maybe I'll try killing this guy. Can I not jump up here? No. I don't think so. Hmm. I wonder if I can use his tail as like a slope to go up. Cause this guy's our friend. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, I should have pecked. I should have done the peck. Okay. Let's let's give it another go. Let, come on. Oh wait. No, I, sh I should have gone further on the tail. It just gets so tapered. It gets so narrow that, you know, sometimes I get, I get a little bit... I get a little bit nervous about going too far out. I get too nervous about falling sooner that I fall later. Let me up your tail. Okay. Okay. 
No, no, no. I should have. I should have packed. I should have packed. Why? I should have packed. Why is this my? Oh, no, no, no. Peck, peck, peck. Why did, I, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I always think that I can do that second jump and then I can peck afterwards, but that's not a thing I can do. I need to choose one or the other. And right now, I need to... Why? I think I held it too long. Or something. I don't know. But... Okay. <laughs> Hmm, no. I don't know if I can do that. I don't- But they wouldn't give me that tail if I couldn't do that. You know, they wouldn't give me the tail if that wouldn't bring me over there. That's not how video games work. Video games give you things because they want you to use them. Oh hey, it's a musical note. Is there more to this? No. Let's see. I mean, it has to be that I go on that tail and then I jump over there. That has to be the case. Or... Actually, there's like other paths. There's like other holes. Like, along these walls. So maybe I'll go there. Maybe, uh, that's meant to be my next... The next thing I explore. Okay. Let's go. What's going on? Why- why the me- Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us if you must. Oh, mutant crabs? I guess the pollution is really bad here. Where are the other crabs? Oh, there's another crab right there. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. Told you we do it. Never doubt. Never doubt, uh, pasta bus, expert, gamer, 100% speedrun right now. This beaten snippet. Humans are, mutants are we, yours is prizes. Hey. This camera angle is all crazy. Uh, let me see. How do I get up there? Okay, here's a pipe connecting things. Hey. All right. Wait, is it safe for us? If this water has, like, mutated these crabs, is it really safe for Banjo and Kazooie to be in here? I mean, I guess that's not a real concern right now. What is our concern is Tootie. Our sweet toot. You know, who cares if we grow, like, extra eyeballs or whatever. At least... Our sister will be safe and sound. Uh... Okay. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Go up, go up, go up. What's in here? More crabs? A longer tunnel? <laughs> Oh my, this tunnel. Oh my. Oh, oh my. 
this tunnel's so long. I am. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Am I gonna drown? Am I gonna drown? Come on. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. I'm about to drown. I'm about to drown. I'm about to drown. Oh no. I drowned. At least I got a puzzle piece. They don't take away your puzzle pieces. You keep your puzzle pieces. I'm gonna ignore these notes for now. And just get over to where I was. I can get them on the way back. I know where they are. Man. It's so tough being a living being that needs to breathe air. You know, there are so many struggles associated with it. Like, not being able to be underwater forever. Let's try this hole right here. This first hole on the left. Uh, hopefully the tunnel is not crazy long. Hopefully we don't drown. Oh hey, it's a Jinjo. Uh, oh well. Oh, oh, it just connects back to that other part. Okay. So the entire point is that Jinjo. Let's get, let's get up and then let's get through that tunnel again. Okay. Oof. Okay. There we go. Jinjo, you've been helped. Please leave us a five star review. Oh, can I... Can I get inside this guy's hole? He has like a little blowhole or whatever. Can I get inside him? Oh no, I don't think I can. It doesn't look like it's like... Completely... Hollow or what... I mean, it doesn't look like it's open. It's kind of like um, puckering and stuff, but like it looks like it's covered. I don't know if I can get in that guy's hole. Okay, so let's. Ooh, uh. You can get in inside him. Yes, later. You have to free him first. Okay. Oh! <gasps> almost made it. Almost made it. Almost made it. Since the blowhole is for breathing air, opening that underwater is probably dangerous. Oh, okay. Hmm, logic, 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 okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I made it. <laughs> I was a little too early in passing by. Can I... Can I jump up there? Wait, is there another way you're supposed to do that jump? I thought that was the intended way. Uh. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Should I have pecked? Or could I have made that at all? I'm not sure. Maybe I should go... Okay, here's this guy. Puzzle... Okay, there's a grate there... That has the puzzle piece. There's a section in front of him, that's where we came from. Wait, or is this... Which one is the one where we came from? Okay, let's go down here. Let's see. Either this is the one we came from, or... It's... Oh, it's just where we get a mumble token. Okay. Welcome back, Derek. Oof. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's a big ol'... There is that... Like... There are some pipes down there. Okum bokum? Oh, I'm basically looking for a way to progress. I got up here, but I couldn't get up there. I don't... Well, I don't know if I just jumped wrong. Or what? I'm in Clanker. Oh, there's some mumble token right here. Wait, no, no, no. Those aren't mumble tokens. Those are eggs. There's also, like, something in this pipe. It might be a musical note, it might be something else. Oh, it's a honeycomb piece. But you know, I think, um, I don't know, is there something down here? Where uh, this is all like... some air. I want like a fresh air run down there. It does change the uh... It does change the music and I do see a guy down there. Oh, there's musical notes. I can eat? He- Oh, he helps me? Hi, I'm Gloop. Grab my bubbles if you're low on air. 
Oh, all right. I am low on air. Oh, man. I'm so low on air. Oh, no. I am... Uh... I'm about to die. Not again. <laughs> again. I drowned in this level three times. <laughs> Hold R while swimming. Turn tighter. Okay, let's go. When you get down there, swim through the keyhole. It will loosen the chain. I don't think this is gonna be... I'm gonna get some... Each blue hexagon is 10 seconds of air. Okay, so I've got like a minute total. I don't trust myself to... Oh, man. I thought... <laughs> I thought... Okay. I was just like... Oh, wow. I found it so hard to get the bubbles at the begin... You know, last time. I found it so hard to get the bubbles last time. I was like, maybe if I go all the way up, that's going to be safer. But then, I, then I realized, hey, uh, it's a long way back, all the way up. You have to get the rhythm of getting those bubbles. Just follow the fish and worrying about the key and notes after your air is full. Okay. 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 Let's head on down. Still low cautious. Okay, let me get my air and go down. It's your favorite game from your childhood. You beat it like 12 times. Wow, that's a lot of times to be a game. I think the only game that I've beaten maybe that many times is like... Uh, the RPG Chrono Cross. A 
Oh, hey, it's a ginger. Yeah, I beat Chrono Cross a whole bunch of times. Because it was like a... It was basically my first RPG. Steady does it. No, I can't even swim in real life. <laughs> so <laughs> we freed him, Clankers. Oh, he's got a puzzle piece for us. Clanker has fresh air. You find reward on Clanker's back. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't drown because I've got a... Uh... Because I'm low on life now. I'm low on lives. Oh no! Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna drown again. Ah, I... You're in four streams? <laughs> That's insane. At most I only get like... At most I only get into like two streams. Five? Wow. What games are you watching? Banjo Banjo, Tarkov and Hearthstone. I feel like I've heard the name Tarkov before, but I don't know what that is. Escape from Tarkov is like a survival PvP FPS. Oh. Okay. Thanks, 
banker teeth hurt now. Eat too much garbage. Game had reset two days ago, so my friend played 13 hours yesterday and has been live for eight hours today. <laughs> I want to get this puzzle piece first, and then I'll try going inside him. Wow. I don't play first-person shooters at all. They, like, um... Well, first of all, like, first-person games, like, I get, like, motions- Oh, uh! Whoa! I was falling, and then I got back up. Like, I didn't even- Wow, I don't know how I even did that. But yeah, first person games give me like motion sickness, so I've never gotten good at them or played them much. Especially sh so. I don't know anything about FPSs, really. Ah! Yes. RTS platformers and card games. Yeah. You know, that's one of the reasons... Well, okay, I didn't consciously think this. I don't think, but... I think that's one of the reasons why I got into RPGs is because they used to be... Oh, thank you, one cat in the box for falling. They used to be, you know, fixed camera. You just have a pre-rendered background and stuff like that. So like, it was really easy on my, on my head for it to not be moving all crazy, the camera. Huh. And I want to go through these? I, I, oh wait, oh. Yeah, I assume I want to go through all these hoops and stuff. Let me try going through one. Why is there suspenseful music? Oh, I have to go them in. When you go through them, they turn green. So you won't forget. I actually am colorblind, but, like, not anything that would, like, give me trouble with this. There- ugh. Oh wow, that hurts me. Okay. Wow. This is really just like Zelda. It's like I'm in Jabu Jabu's belly. See, the thing is, uh... I'm colorblind... What they call is a green week. Which means that... Uh... My green, uh, color receptor is, um, not as strong as the others. So that makes everything shift towards more red, and it means that certain things are, like, more brown or yellow to me. So there'll be, like, some greens that I think are brown or yellow. Um, and some other colors will get, like, mixed up too. Oh, 
Huh? Well, some greens look like yellow. I mean, I mean some... <laughs> yeah, some greens look like yellow to me. Um, I have a shirt. You know, I had a shirt for a long time that I thought was brown. But then, like, someone told me one day that it was green. And I just didn't know. And I, I was really shocked because I had it for years. And I had no idea it was actually... Uh... This is so hard. Yeah, green and blue are really distinct to me. But if they were like... If they were more so like... Well, this green is really green to me. So, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think this would cause me to trip up at all. But there have been some games where I've, like, not been able to tell the color difference. Uh... It's mostly, like, telling the difference between, like, green and brown or green and yellow. Yeah, I don't wanna... Uh, I don't wanna lose health. On them. No! I almost got it! Yeah, it was a... Uh... Yeah, they're a little bit... <laughs> they're a little bit scarier looking than I would expect. They're like these like weird little tentacle kind of things. And they've got like a blood... a bloody tinge to them. Left of the tentacle rather than looping out of the water. Oh, here it is. Where are those other things? Oh, right there. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's just getting the erections down. I think I'm getting a little bit smoother with the swimming. Yeah, Gruntilda's so evil, she put these, uh... She put these hoops in inside Clanker. I did it! Flying tutorial! <laughs> oh man, I'm bad at flying too. there's anything we should be doing with um these tentacles oh 
I thought this was an enemy. Okay. I do wonder what why they're named Jinjos. You have a hat rack and she sleeps in a basket I have for random newspapers and leaflets. I guess that leads outside of him. But I can go right back into his gills. That's so weird. That's so weird and kind of like gross <laughs> to go inside the gills like that. Wow. Which way did I come? Uh, which way have I been in here? Let me see. Have I been everywhere in here? No, there are two more exits. Oh, I haven't gone that way. That other side. Yeah, oh, wait. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I was gonna get hit by that, uh... Second game? <laughs> oh, lore spoilers. I don't know. I don't know if I care about lore spoilers or not. Um... I think there would be a flight pad somewhere. Uh, well, is it like super important to the story of two? Oh, actual spoiler. Actual story spoiler. Okay. Bipedal dragon-like critters not, who have a vi village ruled by King Jingling, and there are evil Jinjos called Minjos. Ah. Uh. Oh, but now that he's up. I can reach that new part through his tail. The next ledge over is a fly pad. I do need this life. Oh wait. Let me get on his fin so I can jump over here. Yes! Okay, where are we going that this jump would be useful? Oh, right there? Can we make that jump with this? Whoa! We did. Okay, we did. Huh. And then... I guess we can... Oh, 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 okay. 
jumps from where you last were standing before he lifts in the air. Just grill Chompa since they come out of a great looking thing. Huh. How many do I eat? You can bounce off the pad and then leap to go further, like a little frog jump. Okay. I think I went forward last time. Does anything happen if I go the other way? Oh. It's another place of crabs. <laughs> okay. Leap off the pad and go further. Okay, 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 okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, uh, yeah. There is a lot of friction going on. Wait, what's that? There's a mumble token up there. There's something about his gold teeth. Are we where his mouth is? Oh, I didn't realize that was his tongue. Okay. So maybe from the outside I have to knock in his teeth. Whoa. And then this is the part that had like the low rings. And then here I have a flight pad. And this lets me oh. This lets me reach that area up. Whoa. Wells. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, A only goes higher? Okay. Yeah, I've been using it like a... Like... Yeah, sometimes I hit it like I'm accelerating. I don't know about this. This move uses Biko's wings as a shield against the bad guys. Cool. Does it make me invulnerable? Sure does. Hold Z and press the right C button. 
Keep Z held and use the control stick to move around. Use it wisely though, as this move requires gold feathers. And you can only carry 10 of them. Here, take these five valuable gold feathers with you. Hmm. Your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've learned all my new moves for this world. The rest is up to you. <laughs> Rentilda, the witch's fairy sister, and Balo's First time you meet him, will heal you. Oh, I didn't know Brentilda would heal me. Well, maybe I did, and I just forgot. All I just knew was like... All I really knew is that... She gives me these fun facts about... Uh, Brentilda. Oh, I have to ask her all three? I always just ask her like one and I'm like, okay, well, whatever. There should be gills here, right? There should be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are holes that lead to gills. Yeah, I really hope that you don't need every single note in all the levels because that's not gonna be i don't think that's gonna happen for me oh wait i can uh i can stand here and use my a Ninety percent to get to the final boss fight, but if you have like ninety-eight percent, you get bonuses. Saying if you have all the jiggies except two. Oh man, I cannot aim for anything. This side gone. Clanker swallowed. Reward. Woo. 
What's with, what's with you keep saying like they're Jamaican? Ah, this tooth not hurt now. Teeth all better now. Thank you, bear. Okay, so I thought... I thought that, um, they would, uh... What's his face? I thought that these were like, when people get gold teeth, like, those are like, crowns. It's like after you got dental work. But I guess for this guy, they're more like rotten teeth. Uh -huh. New One Piece chapter. <laughs> wow, that's... You know, I know One Piece is very long running, but just to see the number. 1,071. Wow, that's so, that's so big. attempt this puzzle piece. Oh wait, there's uh there's more notes down here. Okay. I kind of tried to watch the, uh... Yeah, I tried to watch the anime a long time ago. I think I only got up to... After they get the guy with the long nose, uh, what's his name? Like, Usopo? Usopp's village turned. Oh wait, I got this! I got this puzzle piece! Oh no, man. God, I almost drowned. Okay, so... I need three of those Jinjo suckers. And then... I th that's gonna give me one puzzle piece. 
And then I need... Do you f oh, I need to get that one that's behind that gate that's like all the way up there. But I don't know how to do that yet. Right now. What is this? Okay. Shoot the gate. I watched some of uh, Inuyasha too, like when I was younger. But I never finished it. Oh man, I didn't know that... I need to use my eggs more often. They're more useful than I think. I just keep thinking, oh, they're not gonna do anything. Alright, okay. Now all I need is gingos to get the uh, last puzzle piece from here. Yeah, you remember a lot of this game. Uh, okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Now I'll go back and uh, backtrack a little bit to the entrance. You know where two of them are. See, I don't remember... Jeez. No, I don't have the yellow one. But... The thing is... The thing is, uh, I don't exactly remember everywhere where I got one and then I just died. I know that there's one in here, because I decided to skip this room after I died last time. And just go- just think that I was gonna come back. Which I did come back, so... Oh, what? Ah, oh, I forgot. I forgot about that guy. Does this way take us closer? Oh, man. Sometimes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. I gotta be closer. I gotta be... I gotta be more careful about my health right now. Here's a honeycomb guy. Jinjo! 
Yeah, he like the um the mole did mention it's called the Ratatat Rap. Okay, so, I think this first starting area... I think this first starting area is good. Let me go up for air again. Capture card broke. Oh, is there a big banjo kazooie community? Hundred and forty one K followers on Twitch. I don't know how many is a lot of followers, but I assume that's a lot. Why do I keep No No Stay away from me. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, gold feather. I thought there'd be a Jinjo here. But, uh, I guess it's just musical notes and some eggs. There was a gold- there was a jigsaw puzzle piece that I already got from here. Justin TV. Wow. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've heard about Justin TV. The walls of the level. Yeah, I did get the green one. Okay, let me look at the walls. I don't think they look sad. I think they just look like they're bored. Yes. And on the right, I can climb up the gray rod. Yes. I did climb up that gray rod right there. The other rod. The other rod. Oh, 
Oh, that rod. Okay. Come on. Lift up your fin. Okay, here we go. Okay, so... Ah! Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Whoa. Let me try that again. I wonder if it's easier if I use Kazooie. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe I ground pound? Okay. Oh, the other one on the left. Huh, okay. I keep exp- <laughs> I keep expecting, like, these to have, like, really obvious, like, textures that say, hey, these are- wait, no, that was wrong. But to say that, hey, these are what you can interact with. Honeycomb piece. Oh, the honeycomb cereal, like a uh... I had a... There was like one time... That they came with a game. They came with like a CD with a game for the honeycomb cereal. Starring the honeycomb mascot. And... <laughs> and... Man, I tried it. Like, I tried to use it, but like, I don't know, I think I was too stupid then, and I couldn't figure out how to get the game to work. Okay. We have those things. Maybe I want to shoot eggs? No, that's too far for to shoot eggs. Huh. Let's look. There looks like a thing that we can get into. Eh. Oh, hey! Ugh. I'm scared now. I need to learn- I- Okay, I need to get acquainted with the gold feather. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, wow. This one. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Um. Now, where is that Jinjo? I think that Jinjo is the only thing I need. Huh. I wonder if it's inside this guy. Or maybe it's in the water. Pipe on the right of Clanker. I guess it's a different pipe. Oh, the hole's in the wall. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Not this one. Well, I had checked them, but then I died. You know, I've died a few times. You know. So, I didn't exactly remember which ones I got and where. And now, we're done. Let's get out of here. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna be... <laughs> I'm gonna be glad to uh, get out of the water for a while. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go. A bit like Cry? I don't know who Cry is. I've never heard of this YouTuber. I've never heard myself called... Uh, I've never heard anyone like say that I sound like anyone else. Cryo Attic? What what was he known for? What was a uh, what kind of content did he do? Like video games? Games. 
Oh, all right. I see it's quite hard work to lump around that squabbling jerk. What, something jerk? Ah. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty, and the Monster Mob. They're awful. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. I don't... I don't know. This isn't really helping, lady. I don't... I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why she just like hangs around here just telling us like these little fun facts about her sister. How long did clankers take? I have no idea. Um, I started... Okay. I maybe spent half an hour to an hour on Zelda 2. I started... Oh, really? I guess I'll get quizzed. Okay. I thought you were joking. I thought you were joking that you need to... If I pause, I can see the time per level? Oh, view totals. Mumbo's Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, Clanker's Cavern. It took an hour and 23. Oh, I didn't get any honeycomb pieces in Treasure Trove Gro Cove. Average time for this game is 14 and a half hours to 100%. Oh. I think I'll probably take longer than that. <laughs> but it's alright. What did this do for me? It it opened this grate and then I guess it made this Whoa. Don't Don't come after me. I guess it Swim in the grate. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see. Look, let's look in this pipe. Is somewhere I've been, or this is new? Yeah. These like bouncy little eggs. Oh wait, here we are. Here's something. Bubble gloop swamp. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that just takes me back down. Uh, let me readjust my camera. And then... Well, let me look around. So... Huh? Where was that swamp? Hmm, I guess the swamp is outside this room. My last time stream was Mumbled 11, Treasure Trove 15, Clankers took 18. Wow. You've beaten this game twice this year alone, wow. I 
I don't think I could get fast times, but the only game I think I like remember almost backwards and forwards is this Chrono Cross. How bright they are, your stupid shorts. A target for my dumb cohorts. Oh, his shorts are... <laughs> I just noticed his shorts are yellow. I always thought... I thought they were blue. But no, they're, uh, they're yellow. Ninth level took me 55 minutes the first stream and 42 minutes the second stream. I wonder where the swamp is. That way leads me to the painting of the woods. Is that anything? I don't know. Oh, the direction to the swamp? Yeah, sure, give me the direction to the swamp. Climb up, then turn left in front of the ugly grunt thing. Thing. Climb up, then turn left. Oh, a note door. Go, go. Yeah, he's having a very good time. Uh, even though his sister is in danger. Join me and dump the bear. That little backpack. Then I'll wear. Bubble Gloop. Oh, it's your fa fa second favorite level. Have you- have I done your favorite level yet? Or is your favorite level coming up? Ooh. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles. The swamp represents Halloween. Hey, lady. <laughs> My fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. You know... She focuses a lot on Gruntilda's weight, but they're like the same size, basically. Wait, they, she has other sisters? Let me look around first. Hey. Keep your eyes open for your new move, Beak Face. Beak Face? Oh, wait, wait, no. That's not the name of the move. That's the... That's just an insult. I was like, beak face? He already has a beak face. But, yeah. Oh, here. 
These are the wading boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken. Err, Kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Now, great, now you know all the swamp's new moves. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not really voice acting, I'm just kind of reading it. You know, it's hard to get a proper pace because of the way that... Because of the way that the text moves, it's kind of hard to... Okay. Okay, so I can go through that swamp with these boots on. Poop eggs in the mouth of that gator. Okay. I can go through the swamp if I have the eggs, but... I mean the... not the eggs. The, uh... The boots on my legs. Um... <laughs> Yummy! Croctus liked that. Me want yummy egg too. Oh, pooping. Okay, I can... Okay, I can shoot as well. That's gonna be easier, I guess. Here's Mumbo, uh, here's Mumbo Token. What else we got? Whoa. Are these guys wearing like little jackets or something? They look like they're wearing leather. Oh, I thought you just randomly were obsessed with Jamaicans. <laughs> and I was just like, what? What's going on? Er, an ugly hairy trespasser. Trespasser. He's after our goal, but he'll never beat us all. What? Whoa. It's only two of you guys. What are you talking about, all? going on? Ooh. Ah, here we go. Oh, so there's more after you beat some. Let's just roll. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. <laughs> ah. How many frogs are there? Are they infinite? Or is there an end to them? Eventually. I think this is the last one. Blub, you're too tough for us flibbits. Take our gold.
Go ho! Siberia. I don't... <laughs> Off to Siberia. Ah, uh, I don't remember that from the Cat in the Hat. But I haven't read the Cat in the Hat in a long time. <laughs> the original movie... Is there one- is there more than one Cat in a Hat movie? I just know the Cat in the Hat movie with, uh, Mike Myers. Oh, wait. Yeah, 1968. Oh. I know that, like... The Dr. Seuss estate or whatever... They were... They didn't like the Mike Myers... Um... Dr. Cat in the Hat movie. And so... They, like... They became really cautious about, like, licensing... Uh, Dr. Seuss stories after that. For a while. Oh, mumble tokens. Let me see if I can... Or maybe they're just eggs. I don't know. Oh, it's a big old... It's a big old turtle. This looks like a friendly guy. He looks friendly. Ooh, my feet are so numb. What? Ah, uh, that's a bit better. Mmm, <laughs> tank tubs warm at last. Perhaps you'd... Blah blah blah. You have a banjo voice? Oh, there's a... Quiet, please. The famous Tip Tuck Choir will now perform my latest work. Wow, he has like... Wait, this turtle has like little turtles inside it. Inside? Bit short, isn't it? Well, well, we'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Oh... I don't know. It's just, it's weird because... I s we just went through the mouth, so this would connect to like a stomach or something. But this is kind of like under the shell somewhere. I don't know. Maybe this is still the mouth. I don't know. This might be... Oh dear. Forgotten already? Here it is. Again. Blue. Red. Yellow. Okay. Now, what do I do with him? Grind bash them. Blue. 
Red. Yellow. Hmm, not too bad. Try lesson two. I used to do voices for some of the games I played. Red, yellow, blue, yellow. Purple? Red. Yellow. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Purple. A Power Ranger? Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Yellow. Purple. Red. Yellow. Purple. Red. Wait, no, wait. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. I missed a little. I missed a little. I I'm gonna need that again. I knew you'd need to see this one, one again. Yellow. Purple. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Pink. Yellow. Purple. Red. Yellow. Red. Pink. Oh, I need to do yellow again. Okay. Yellow. Purple. Wait. Oh, wait. Does it reset? Oh, you don't start over. Oh. It only resets if you talk to him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yellow. Purple. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Pink. Magnificent. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why this helps them as a choir at all for me to pound on them. It seems like that would be worse for them. Sorry, there's nothing more I can teach you. Maybe it's like, he thinks they need a lot of discipline, so... He's given... He's given the, the task of dis disciplining them to, to us. Here's a Jinjo. That's what's, uh, ah, that's an enemy. Over the, those are just feathers. Oh, there's a big old crocodile there. And is this? this guy friendly or not? Oh, we climb on him. That's the mosquitoes they use at the Diddy Kong racing intro. The game. Mm. 
Wait, where am I going? Okay, here. How do I get down in there? Can I crawl? Oh, do I roll? Oh, maybe Mumbo's here. Maybe Mumbo is here and he's gonna transform us. Alright, let's go. These boots were made for walking. And that's just what they'll do. These boots also... Ooh! Made it just in time. Okay, so this one has a puzzle piece. Oh, there's a time limit. Oh no. Oh no. I can't do this. First you see it, now you don't. The fast one wins. The slow one won't. I'm just... Ugh! You know, I was just worried about uh, falling in there, and then, so I was being very careful, but, you know, I kind of fell anyway. Use Kazooie to run out swamp or gold feathers. Okay. If you center camera behind Banjo before beak busting, you'll save yourself the spinning camera back round. Try it. Okay. This is kind of how Chocobo's work in Final Fantasy. Except I believe you don't just ride with your back to the Chocobo. You like actually ride them like horses. Okay. Okay. I center the camera behind myself before I pound. Okay. I save myself the spinning camera. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that's e that was a lot easier. Whoa. Okay, let's. I want to be careful about not falling. Okay. Ah. 
Ah, there's something behind there. I see it. Oh wait, that's... Okay, that's more boots. Oh, this is Mumbo. Mumbo. Wooden wall does get finicky there, yeah. Okay. Oh, he does have things on his shelf. Too. Eat them, bulk them. Eat them, bulk them. <laughs> I just keep trying to hit that little peg. Oh, there we go. And then we've got a honeycomb piece in the in the middle. Yes. Oops. So what does this give us? Mosquito? Crocodile? Oh, we're like a little baby crocodile. It's like we're going to school. Huh. So I can attack as a crocodile. And I guess that's how... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I guess that's how I get past through there. Mmm. Okay. Oh, and maybe as a... Oh, no, no, no. Wait, he can go through his swamp. I think. And now we can go in his nose? I don't understand these animals having like smaller animals in them, but they're not like... It's not like they're pregnant or anything. It's just like they just have smaller animals inside them. Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready? Three, two, one. Press the switches every 10 seconds. This is useful for later. Yes! You can't eat more than me. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Oh, jeez. What are these things? What are grumblies? Are they like some kind of worm? 
Or is it like some kind of... Is it like some kind of vegetable? Like the red ones look a little bit like radishes or whatever, but the yellow ones look like worms. Oh no! They are nerd gang. <laughs> Mr. Vile wins easy. Here I come, Greeny. Aww. Oh. He just like kinda like munches at me. Okay. Or we play game two again, remember? Reds are nice, yellow's nasty. Okay. So hard. Oh man, we're so we're neck and neck. Oof. Oh no. Okay, so it's... I don't want to do this right now because I, I need more HP. And then as the crocodile, the swamp is totally safe, right? Okay. That frog is not safe though. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that their faces change. There's a Jinjo on one of these poles above, so I gotta go here with Banjo later. Okay. Jump over the nah. I need to be banjo too. Hmm. Oh, here's some health. Okay.
In the second game, you can actually split up Banjo-Kazooie, only playing one of them and have more abilities. Oh. There were a lot of ambitious mechanics they wanted in this game, but only got to add in the second. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I remember seeing something where, like, the bird was alone. I didn't know what that was about. I thought maybe, uh, Banjo got, like, kidnapped or something, and they had to get... Like... <laughs> Kazooie had to go rescue Banjo or something. more health. I mean, we are rescuing some bear. It's just not Banjo, it's his sister. And I need to come here with Banjo-Kazooie so I can drop an egg in that mouth. Whoa! Oh, since <laughs> uh, the way the way that I just fell there when there is there are no obstacles, just my own playing. Okay, take a little bit easy. I'll take a little bit easy. Yeah, um, the name Banjo Tui. I know it's like two. Or the number two, you know, because it's a sequel. But it also kind of sounds like almost like the sister could be playable, like, because her name's Tootie. Oh, you know what these Jinjos remind me of? They remind me of the backyard again. A little bit. Like, their noses are. They're not as round as the Backyardigans, but they remind me of the Backyardigans when I see them out in the world. Nuts and bolts. Is that related to Ratchet and Clank? Or is it just a coincidence that there's like... I don't know. Mmm. Oh, it's a racing game. Oh. There's also a Crash Bandicoot racing game, isn't there? And then, of course, everyone knows that there's, uh, you know... A Donkey Kong race game, the Diddy Kong racing. Banjo, yeah, Banjo was in Diddy Kong racing. Yeah, I heard that from, uh, yeah. I had to say that earlier, yeah. You know, I had no idea that uh, this was made by Rare and published by Nintendo until like I looked it up earlier this week. I thought it was like a completely different studio, completely different publisher. Uh, this is like kind of like a second party game. Another life up. I 
<laughs> oh, the rainbow. Let's see. Orange, yellow, green. We've got that's more indigo. I guess that could be kind of violet. I don't know. Did these eggs res Did I not get these eggs or did they respawn? I've got max eggs. Okay, I don't need- I think these just respawned. Okay. Maybe I should try the... They live in color-coordinated houses. I didn't know they had- Oh wait, they do have a village. You mentioned that. But... I didn't think about them actually like living in houses and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where's that alligator? I don't care. Ah, uh, man. I think I'm... I think the only thing left to do as an alligator... ...would be to... ...go inside the other gator... ...and do that little... ...minigame. I think everyone- everything else in this... I have to be Banjo Kazooie. What is this egg? Or is this a or is this a fruit? I guess I do that as Banjo Kazooie. Ah. Okay. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let me try. Let me try this. Uh. Let me try this guy's game a little bit. Hmm. What is Okay. So this is a later power up, right? And then I have to get it in a different level. Or something? Because... They said... I got all the powers... I got all the moves from the mole... That is available in this world. Or what? Oh, I think this started from... Yeah, it started from the first game. Okay. Which is a much easier... Run. You always lock stage... Five and six. And get the shoes in six before starting stage five. I didn't know you could do these out of order. Oh. 
Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> oh man, I didn't know he could jump up here! Yeah, I almost had it. Yeah, I was trying to cut him off. If you run away, you gotta do both challenges. Okay. So it's take damage or save time. A classic tale. He's catching up. He's catching up to me. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man. I almost got this. I... Oh, uh, yes, I got it. Yes. Bah. Lucky Greeny wins. Must play last game. Last game? There's another game? Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. Ready? Three, two, one. It switches every ten seconds. So slight eye on timer. Yeah, that slows me down. I did it! Here we go! Mr. Vile never lost before! Greenie can have prize! Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge if Greenie not scared. You must win next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greenie loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B to slide off like a slug. Mr. Vile is bad as Croc of all. Look everyone, Greenie is scurrying off. Yeah, playing for lives doesn't seem worth it. Okay, so let's go turn back into Bear and Bird. The two bees. Oh! <laughs> 
Hold up, let's go up here. Okay. What is that noise? Is that one of the... Oh, yeah, it's a dragonfly. Breagle? Is that a real bird species? Breagle? the worldwide yeah I just you know I just barely made it well in final destination it all catches up to you death ain't is not catching up to me here Let me see, let me see, let me see. Troll slander. Slander meaning spindle, like one for yarn. And troll. Referring to like magic, not the creature. A wizard in Swedish is troll karl. Hmm. Carl. Magic spindlers. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, let me use my Magic spin. Huh. I don't know if they actually spin anything. Hey, Jinjo. Let me try. Where's that area I was just at, where we had the... Kazooie looks like a football player when she does that. Is this the place that we want to go? It's this way. Really? All the way up there? Oh man. Oh no, I'm fought. Oh no. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for another round. And maybe I need to just, like, take my time, because it's not gonna be... I got there as a croc, so I don't gotta sprint. Okay. I'll just wait for the timer to run out and then do a fresh time. Okay. Drinking some Dr. Pepper, getting caffeine in me. Enhancing my performance. I'll be young and 2D old before you get Gunshilda's gold. Christmas, we drink something called Jolomust. I describe it as mixing Coke and root beer. You ever heard of Pilk? Pe Pepsi, um, they had the Christmas commercial with Lindsay Lohan where they introduced the idea. Yeah, they introduced the idea that Santa would drink or leave behind Pepsi and milk mixed together. I guess it's like a holiday treat. Where was that <laughs> Where was that, Jinjo? Oh, there he is. There he is. Well, it doesn't sound to me too different from a root beer flow. Like a root beer flow is root beer and vanilla ice cream. This too is like soda and dairy. Oh wait, that's the exit. Ah! That was the exit pad. I'm gonna leave that to later. If I need it, I'm gonna leave it to later. Count as swamp water? Oh yes it does, yes it does. Ooh. Ooh no. Ooh no. You gotta get in that hole behind the level. Either with some boots or as the croc. We know what the boots are. The boots are in one of these holes. Right? It's in this hole, I think. Yeah. Ah, we made it. We made it. 
More eggs. They love eggs here, don't they, folks? Freezeezy Park. <laughs> Freezeezy Park. Okay. Do I care about cheating in games? Uh, not necessarily. book called Cheeto, it gives you cheat codes. Ah. Oh, okay. You can't crawl in as a guy, you need to be the crocodile, okay. Where would Frizzy Park lead? Why do I hear? Oh, boots are up there. RBB both my streams. Hey, he just ran into my beak. RBB. What is RBB? Uh, is this a level name? Oh yeah, this is Guntilda. I remember. Oh wait, she does heal me. Supposedly. My fa- Okay, I know, I know. It's Broomstick Racing. Ooh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. This machine that switches their... their appearances must take a long time. Because we're just kind of dawdling out here, and she's just like... Making little... Rhymes at us. Like she doesn't have anything better to do. Oh, here's another note door. 260. I've got that. Scientist. Well, I guess you you could call him an engineer instead of a scientist. It's, they're related. 
备。So I guess this is like an Egypt kind of sand inspired place coming up. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. What is this? Mumble token. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. She really wants this bird. Man, there's like a lot of this that really reminds me Donkey Kong 64. I know they're both rare, but yeah. Oh wait. Was it? Hmm. As more larger levels, more backtracking. I haven't played Donkey Kong 64 in a long time. I never beat it, but you know, I've heard that Donkey Kong 64 has a ridiculous amount of backtracking and things you need to collect. Hey, hey puzzle piece. You know, I kind of actually recently watched the YouTube video <laughs> about how insane the amount of things you have to collect is. Jumpy thing on the huts with the pillars. Yes, I didn't do the all the medical cro metal crocodiles. I was looking for it, but then I, um, I absentmindedly headed to the exit path. <laughs> and I didn't do the egg either. I forgot all about the egg. Yeah, I, I, I did go in both the nostrils. Is there other stuff in here? No. There's just the eggs in these boots. What are these boots for? Z plus B. My strongest break things move. Ah, I'm not gonna make this. The one you break rocks with at the start. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm still here. I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, Gruntilda. You can be a lurker. That's fine. Not everyone can... Not everyone has to be a chatter. You can be a lurker. Oh, here's another Gruntilda. Not Gruntilda. Gruntilda. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Saggy Maggie. There are padlocks later, which aren't obvious you can break, but that move works. Oh, okay, that's good to know. 
while sipping a glass of her favorite cold worm juice. Grunty's best friend. Uh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Baggy Maggy, worm juice, whatever. Okay. Oh, I gotta find the painting first. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Worm juice. <laughs> Reminds me of, uh... That one... That one book. The four kids that's like, uh... How they eat fried worms or something? And I just remember stuff with like, uh, this is where I just was. I remember stuff with just like, putting ketchup on them or something? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think I ever saw the movie. I think I just remember a little bit of the book. This I would need 350. I've got that. No idea where I'm going. But hey, I'm going. I'm going places. Oh, there's like a volcano kind of level. It's actually through this note door that you unlock stage six to thing to do that thing I talked about earlier. Oh, unlocking like the shoes, the special fast shoes. Oh, that Sphinx is like... I guess it's a Jinjo. I guess... It... Ah... Yeah. <gasps> no, 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 no. Um... So I can't just complete stage six first. Okay. So I couldn't just complete stage six first before doing the other thing. Because I don't know the location of boots. Okay. We at least know where that level is. Ah, uh, bees, touch my honey this time, and you'll be sorry. When the back of Grunty's hand whoops your butt, you'll hardly stand. I thought that was like a little thing where you break the spider web stuff and then it goes a poop situation. Oh, here's the Frizzy Park. Oh, pooping eggs. Okay, I gotcha. Ah, don't think you can use these until you found out how.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I move kind of slow. Yeah. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. A lot of icy land. Whoa. Yeah, it's the season. This is the season for for ZZ. Your butt will tell you, and you'll know when my boot swings and fro to and fro. It's strange. It's strange that there's just this gigantic uh, poster mural of Banjo and Kazooie here. You want a Banjo chocolate calendar. You thought it was a chocolate calendar? Oh, you mean like a, an advent calendar? Where you like open it up every day? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 huh. I've never had an advent calendar at all. I was introduced to, um... I was introduced to the... The concept of advent calendars in this old, like, browser game called Neopets. And I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. <laughs> it costs like 99 cents, that's so cheap! Uh, I think I'm gonna call it for today because I don't want to enter a new level. And then spend like an <laughs> an hour in there or whatever. Uh, like be in there for an hour or more, because a lot of times I end up doing them for more than an hour. So I'm gonna call it for today. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more banjo kazooie next Thursday. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see you next Thursday when I continue this game. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but thanks for coming. Thanks for chatting. And thanks for helping me with this game. Like, I, I did receive a lot of tips. A lot of control tips too. You know, the underwater swim thing did help. The holding R. Anyway. Yeah. And then tomorrow I'm just gonna go back to Wind Waker. Uh, but yeah, next Thursday is Banjo Kazooie. Nah, nah, it wasn't too much. I, I liked it. I like having a chat and I like receiving help. Because I'm not good at video games. I'm not an expert at anything. I'll be on tomorrow, but it won't be Banjo Kazooie. It'll just be Wind Waker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. I might catch your stream. I might catch your stream depending on when it is. I just did laundry like... I don't know, the day before yesterday. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Goodbye. Goodbye. You do want... Okay, you'll save it for New Year. I might check it out. I might check it out. It just depends on when it is. And if I'm awake or if I'm doing something else. But yeah. Ooh. I'll at least check out the VOD maybe.
I didn't know that it has a cutscene for when you save and quit. Oh, VODs have spoilers? Wow, she does look good. She does look good. Anyway, I'm just gonna stop the screen.